it's, it's, it's another weird psychological thing. When I was wandering the desert, before I broke my water bottle in the Libyan desert, I found a bullet in the sand. Like, in, like a, it had obviously been oh, really? discharged and a bullet in the sand. And I picked it up and it's like, I'm gonna drill a hole in this and wear it around my neck. And the next hour I found like 12 more. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're like, oh. and it's like, okay. And, and somehow, you know, the idea that something might be rare or special. And so somehow I read something, I felt chosen when I found the first bullet. And by the time I found the 12th, I didn't care about any of them anymore. Yeah. You know? The Simpsons has this show, uh, I forget which episode it was, but they, they, they were on a farm and they saw a lamb. They're like, aw. And they saw like a, a, a smaller lamb, like an adolescent lamb. And they're like, aw. And then a baby, baby lamb. And it was like, oh, it was so cute. And then the middle lamb comes back and like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, you're no longer cute. That's funny. I <laughs> By think, comparison. I think that's a thing. I, I, I think that's a thing. I'll take, sometimes I'll take like um, things of nature and then try to like, I, I give them like life. Uh, there's a, where was this? Maybe either Indonesia or East Timor. But there's a religion, the world's oldest religion. Fuck, it's all about, ah, damn, it's gone from my head. Is it animistic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, so they believe in like, that everything has sort of a soul, you know? Uh It's a being, rocks do, trees do, humans do, sort of everything has like a being to it. Right. Um, So I sort of like hold by that a little bit. So like, I imagine like I take a pine cone that I found in Scotland and I just carry it with me, and then I'm in Iceland, and I just like drop it off hmm. in the woods there. Hmm. And I imagine like the father, the mother of this pine cone, the tree, going like, "What's my son gonna become?" And it's like, "You're never gonna know. He's gonna see the fucking you know shores of Iceland, right? You know, and just try to like move it past where it possibly could have gone, or a stone, like take it, and like you're traveling the world now. That's that's interesting. Like you almost. You, you anthropomorphize these things. I remember when I was traveling to America, my very first vagabonding trip, I picked up a seashell someplace, uh-huh. South Carolina or something, put it in my backpack, forgot about it. I was backpacking in near the, the Tetons, near Jackson Hole in yeah. Wyoming. I gotta get there. Found that in my backpack, and it's like, I'm gonna leave this at the top of a mountain. Yeah. And so I hiked up on a ridge and left this Atlantic seashell in the mountain, and it was just, it amused me in this private way. Like, nobody is gonna see that in probably nobody will see it at all. Right, but if they did, what are the odds that they go, is this a seashell? What? How? Is that a mollusk common? Yeah, they'd be like, the that means, that means this used to be all underwater. Right. <laughs> We've discovered an artifact. <laughs> fuck, fuck with paleontologists. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but I, again, um, I think that there, and I found this while I was writing the book, is that the psychology of things is, in a way, it's been vibrating in a way that we don't think about. Like, like I had, I played, you played a game with the pine cone from one country to another. I played mm-hmm. it with a seashell years ago. Um, we collect these objects and then, then we throw them away later because they were about the moment more than taking them home. And I think that that is something I discovered while writing the book. Like I, when I walked through my house, um, I found things that I forgot that I had kept and I forgot why I kept them. Oh yeah. Um, you lose the whole meaning behind them. Like, what, what was this? It had to have been special. Right, or I find them and it's like, holy shit, that's that bar of soap from the Chelsea Hotel. And then you remember it. Yeah. Oh. And it's like, and of course, I, I don't keep soap from any other hotels, but Leonard Cohen sang a song about the Chelsea Hotel and has his rock and roll history, so that's the, that's the soap yeah. that I kept. And then there's this boat propeller. There's actually a picture of it in, my, in the book. When I went down the Mekong, one of my greatest adventures either, and I go for months without thinking about that, but I was looking at that while I was researching the book, and it's like, yeah, that was, that was I could have died, you know, that was, that was amazing. <laughs> and so... Um, it does have that power, too, to take you back to a place. For sure, yeah. And then even souvenirs that I've since lost, like the fuse box, uh, and, and Ari was talking about this, I, I hiked up on a plane crash when I was a teenager, sort of, um, and it seemed so hardcore that here was this, men had died yeah. three decades before, so I... It was like at a Christian camp, and they, our counselor told us not to take anything, but I snuck out this fuse box because I wanted to show my friends how badass it was. And I showed them, it's like it could have been garbage from anything. You know, yeah, they're it, like, uh. could have been a, a piece of an air conditioner or something. Yeah. yeah. So then I felt bad, and I, br- I brought it back to, to Colorado years later. You did? Yeah. You threw it yeah. back out there? Yeah, I threw it back out there. That's, um, actually, I'm giving away all the secrets in the book. Yeah, so, so I, I felt so bad about oh, that. Oh, wow that I took it back to Colorado, because I was a counselor at the same camp. That's where I, that was my big oh. rock climbing phase of my life. Um, but it just felt like, 
I had dishonored the site of the plane crash. Like it didn't belong to me and it somehow, it called forth, it, 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 it just, it became less meaningful the more I had it. I just looked at it and I felt bad about taking this That's cool to put thing. it back. Yeah, yeah. And it, I, it was interesting because it allowed me to go full circle. Um, it gave me a pretext to take my campers back to the plane crash and just sort of quietly replace it. Mm-hmm.